I started putting this video together after I thought Jumonic had blocked me from commenting. That now doesn't appear to be the case but my main comment is still missing. I assume it got blocked because I used the word pervert. Anyways I'm not interested in remarking on the subject of his video. Jacob has my opinion in the comment section of his video from both my accounts. What I will say is that William has stopped pretending to be objective. I think his new style is comparable to the old Billy Down Under. Kind of in between life with Aaron and Lou Skunt. In his new video, he says he wants someone to refute his points. That's an exercise in futility. You're not going to sway him with facts and the truth isn't the point of his video anyways. Like Anthony Sullivan and Aaron Baxter, he also goes after people he thinks are Jacob's friends. I thought it was a coincidence Jumonic decided to do the J Station video. Turns out he did it because he thought Jacob and the guy were friends because they appeared at the same event. I also suspect Sullivan had something to do with that disinformation as well. But honestly I still can't help but feel pity for William though. He is someone who grew up without anyone teaching him how to be a man. All he knows is to attack other men to hide his own insecurities. Ever since his pride was wounded by the catfishing incident it has been a steady decline. When Jacob hurt his feelings that was the final straw. Dumonic found his scapegoat. I knew William had really gone off the deep end when he tried to dox someone he thought had donated to his charity. When you look behind these facades the trolls and stalkers put up. Behind their costumes, puppets, and avatars you will find men whose fragile masculinity has been deeply wounded. Multiple men who are not able to financially support their families are not the main source of household income. Men who are struggling with their sexuality or suffering from mental health issues. You know before the internet came along people would work out their problems by seeking help from doctors or friends and family. Now they have these echo chambers where they can come together to reassure each other that it is not they who have something wrong in their lives but those they attack. Often under the pretense that they were victimized first. The MK Ultra groups are an extreme example of this phenomenon. In the past the members would have gotten treatment for the voices they were hearing inside their head. Now they have these groups on the internet where they can get together and reassure each other that the problem isn't with them but that they are victims of a government conspiracy. In Dumonic's video he has a very self-aware moment where he mentions thumbs up and down buttons. At this point he wants a thumbs down on his videos. Similar to the other troll channels. They want to know that they have upset people. That is the purpose of their videos. I would highly discourage you from giving them that satisfaction. Please study YouTube's community guidelines instead and flag them. If the troll has non-toxic content somewhere that would be the place for your thumbs down. If you have the time you can also go through their comment sections and thumbs down the videos of their commenters. It is a much more impactful outlet for your disagreement. At the end of the video William includes a clip from a neo-Nazi pedophile. And of course the pervert mentions the underwear of Jacob's daughter. People like Aaron, Chad, and William use an enable that sicko because they aren't brave enough to say and do the extreme things he has. Why should they get in trouble when they can get Anthony to take the fall? Now I'd like to go through Dumonic's comment section and introduce you to some of the personalities at the bottom of YouTube. Uh, irrelevant. Uh, did he really call himself a hero? Uh, that was a joke taken out of context by Dumonic, and he doesn't bother to correct him. No surprise. Boom Bubble Bust Repeat is a two-faced troll leaves positive comments under added videos and then says the opposite under Camo Dave's comment section. Uh, a la carte, a fairly new troll has been doxing people. Uh, this account most likely belongs to either Chad the Swedes or uh, Anthony Sullivan. Uh, 
could even be Kentucky Ranger, uh, we'll have to see. Uh, System Skynet, I don't remember where I know them from. Uh, Solar's Trenchcoat, uh, I remember them from Black Bigot's channel. As well as, uh, what is her name, Candy, who was a part of the, uh, Bad Connection Gang. Supreme Leader is kind of an interesting one. He was previously known as a fairly notorious troll named Cat Strollers and Patreon. Um, but he shut his channel down and went away for quite a while. Then came back and did an interview with Blind Views where he uh, denounced a lot of the things he was a part of and did. But now he's pretty much running back to his old ways, making the same type of uh, content and comments. Mr. Dooku, he popped up after Chaz the Swede's fake heart attack, supposedly caught, supposedly caused by Mr. Dooku's friend, uh, John's Wacky World. Uh, irrelevant, 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 freezing clock hands, uh, kind of an ignorant child who is... Demonic's girlfriend. Uh, Aggie, that's a very old troll that's been around probably longer than I have. Uh, mostly he concerns himself with the RV nomads, but, uh, often has some pretty, uh, vile things to say about, uh, Adam the Woo, Jordan, uh, Jacob. Uh, Red Jams, he's the, uh, troll that Mark Fun Jones Talk to the bottom of YouTube. You may have seen him uh, spamming Adam the Woo's comment section. Uh, he also runs a subscriber for Subscriber Cult. Uh, I don't quite understand his comment here. Um, Red James, uh, several days ago, was actually going off uh, against social distancing, uh, wearing a mask. Uh, he might have said something about, uh, I remember him saying something about vaccines. I don't remember if he said vaccines, vaccines cause autism, but it was something along those lines. Uh, Diamond Last Ranch, I think I remember them from, uh, Lou Skunt's, uh, channel. RJ63 is someone that really can't think for himself. He runs a Twitter account where he, uh, retweets, uh, a lot of, uh, racist and uh, homophobic stuff. I uh, know he's actually been uh, accused of being a robot on there and he'll have to uh, occasionally post an original tweet. Uh, Sandy Inkler, irrelevant, uh, will do kind of an odd second channel for Demonic Abyss. Uh, Kyle Porter, another old troll, it's been quite around for quite a while. I think, uh, Mark Fun Jones is the one that just, uh, led him into the, uh, Adam the Woo in, uh, Facebook group. Kitchy Travels, uh, she's a great example of, uh, the problem with these so-called, uh, fence walkers, as they're known, pe uh, people you'll find, uh, for some reason hanging out in, with the bottom of YouTube. Uh, channels, but then they'll also be making, like, their own content and saying positive things to creators, but then, like, uh, we've seen numerous times before something will go wrong and they become an issue and start causing, start causing problems for creators. Uh, irrelevant... Claire's Corner used to be known as Mind Garden, uh, someone who was a real big supporter of Beauregard Rippey after all the uh, things came out about him uh, stalking Sightseeing Sally. Uh, Sister Earth, mostly a... Sister Earth, mostly uh, an RV nomad troll. Uh, I don't remember where exactly I remember them from, uh, at the very least, Camo Days comment section. Uh, Pink Pig is another old troll, been around for quite a while, uh, Life of Aaron, of course, the leader of the Bad Connection Gang, uh, although I think they're calling themselves the Toxic Troll Gang now. Uh, Sunny Girl, I don't remember 
where I got them from. I think mostly Camo Dave's comment section. Uh, let's see. Relevant to uh, music, uh, they're one of these uh, sub, sub for sub channels uh, that have been popping up mostly in the bottom of YouTube, but also in some creator uh, channels. Uh, I think they're working off of uh, one of the troll subscriber lists. The Swedes, we had a falling out with uh, Jacob the Carpetbagger. After uh, he helped uh, Life with Aaron harass him by sending a video where it appeared to be that uh, Aaron was uh, stalking Jacob. Demo Dave, King of the Trolls, uh, notorious for running one of the most vile and putrid comment sections to the bottom of YouTube. Uh, it's been known to use some of the He's been known to use some of his viewers to start problems with creators and then uh, report on the aftermath. For some reason he invokes God, but God has forsaken those in the bottom of YouTube. And he's, he and his old friend Lou Scunt certainly saw to that. It's Princess Bubbles! When nobody gives a shit about you, Bubbles. <laughs> 